Do you like big booms? Then ladies and gentlemen, you will love the Nuka Nuke, a special mini nuke launcher that you can get with the Nuka World DLC. Hello there ladies and gentlemen, this is your friendly neighborhood Oxhorn and I must warn you, this video will contain quest spoilers. I'm going to be talking about a side quest that is not essential to the primary storyline and I'll be giving away a lot of spoilers related to that quest. The Nuka Nuke launcher is very similar to a mini nuke launcher, except instead of mini nukes, it launches Nuka Nukes, which you can craft at a chemistry station. As you can see, it wreaks great devastation. But let's back up a little bit and talk about how you can get the Nuka Nuke launcher. After you enter Nuka World, you will eventually come across a lady named Sierra Petrovita. She is mad about all things Nuka Cola. She sends you on a quest called Cappy in a Haystack, where you have to wear a pair of Cappy glasses to discover some secret emblems on the sides of walls and buildings throughout Nuka World. I'm not going to go into detail as to where you can find all 10 of them, but I do have a list in the description of this video detailing exactly where you can find all of them for those of you who need a little bit of help. Once you find all 10 Cappy emblems, head back to Sierra in Nuka World and talk to her about it. This door should lead to Brad Burton's office, but it's locked up tight. The keypad is the only way to open it. I guess we just need to key in the 10 numbers that correspond to the word refreshing. You did all the work looking for the hidden Cappies, so you should be the one who gets to enter the code. When you enter the building, there's not much exciting in here. You can browse around. There are two hollow tapes that give you a little bit of background on the story behind Brad Burton, the leader of the Nuka Cola franchise. You learn that the military approached him and asked him to donate some of his beverageers, which is basically a spinoff of the Disney Fungineers. The military basically wanted to use the Nuka Cola scientist staff for their own military purposes. Brad Burton agrees in exchange that he be allowed access to Project Cobalt, which is an immortality experiment that the military was using at the time. The general warns him in advance that it might not be as he expected, but Brad Burton charges forward anyway and gets a cryogenic freezing so that he can become immortal. Sierra gives you many hints that you need to explore the office to find a hidden secret. Well, the secret is just right in plain sight. If you look on the side of the cola machine inside the office, you see a big glaring red button. I was a little disappointed that it was so easy to find, but you push the button and a shelf slides away revealing an elevator. Get in the elevator and it takes you down to an underground vault. When you explore the vault, you find the head of Brad Burton himself sitting in a jar, very reminiscent of Futurama. Incidentally, the whole private living quarters inside a theme park thing is based on reality. Disney himself had his own private quarters installed inside uh, Disneyland, I believe. This expansion is just rife with Disney references. Now, I actually had a glitch in my quest at this point. Sierra is supposed to follow you into the vault and have a conversation with Brad Burton. She didn't in my gameplay. I tried over and over again to try and get her into the vault. I left the building, I came back into the building, I reloaded previous game saves and started over again, and she just wouldn't do it. She gets stuck on the stairs inside the vault in my game and she won't go any further. Now the way the quest is supposed to work is you're supposed to go up to Brad Burton, have a conversation with him, and he says something like, oh, I've been living for 200 years. This is agony. Please relieve me of my misery and shut off the power. Sierra is supposed to say something like, no, I love Brad Burton. He's my hero. Don't kill him. And you're supposed to make a decision. Do you turn off the power and allow Brad Burton to die? Or do you side with Sierra, force him to live? Yada, yada, yada. Depending on your choices, you get two different prizes. If you side with Sierra, she gives you a Nuka Cola jumpsuit. I showed this off in a previous video. Cool, but okay. If you side with Brad Burton and turn off the power allowing him to die, a vault door opens, revealing a whole bunch of loot, including the Nuka Nuke launcher. It also comes with Nuka Nuke schematics and some Nuka Nukes that you can use immediately. Now, if you really want both the Nuka Nuke launcher and the jumpsuit, you can betray Sierra and kill her and just take it off of her body. I'm sorry. You wanted the Nuka Cola formula? Here it is. So it really was here. I'm grateful, but don't think this means I've forgiven you. 
You killed the man who was my greatest. Revolutionized the soft drink industry, and whose creations put smiles on a million faces. Who the hell are you to just walk in here and destroy all that? He made a choice, and I respected that choice. You should too. I... I guess so. It's just that... Never, not in my wildest dreams, did I think I'd get the chance to talk to Mr. Brad Burton in person. To get an opportunity like that, and then have it snatched away. It hit me pretty hard. Still, I can't overlook the fact that for one glorious shining moment, I got to meet the man who invented Nuka-Cola. I'll never forget that. Not ever. And it wouldn't have been possible without your help. Thank you. The Nuka Nuke schematics require one Mini Nuke and one Nuka Cola Quantum to create a Nuka Nuke. This weapon is just as impractical as the Mini Nuke Launcher. I won't be using it in any serious way in my gameplay, but instead of a big fiery red ball of fire and radiation, it gives you a big nuclear blue blast, which is pretty cool to see. So ladies and gentlemen, if you like big blue mushroom clouds of fire and cola, you now have access to the Nuka Nuke Launcher, a fun new rare weapon from the Nuka World DLC. The quest was hard to complete, but I had a lot of fun doing the whole thing, and I think you will as well. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, if you're having a hard time finding all of the cappies, please open up the description of this video, where I have a complete list of where you can find all 10 of them, courtesy of GamerANX, a website that had a nice list handy for everybody. If you like this video, ladies and gentlemen, please subscribe for more Fallout 4 content and Nuka Roll content. And thank you all so very much for watching.